Hello and welcome. Have you ever wondered in a rear wheel drive vehicle how the engine spinning in the center of the car can spin the wheels that are perpendicular to the engine? Well, it's a mystery how that happens. Additionally, in that same space, we change the ratios of revolutions and the torque available to spin everything. The answer to the mystery is called a differential. The definition of a differential from Wikipedia is, a differential is a gear train with three drive shafts that has the property that the rotational speed of one shaft is the average of the speeds of the others. Wow, that's more than we bargained for. Let's refine or search for more automotive. Wikipedia then says, differentials can also provide a gear ratio between the input and the output shafts called the axle ratio or diff ratio. For example, many differentials in motor vehicles provide a gearing reduction by having fewer teeth on the pinion than the ring gear. Well, that's more like it. Those terms start to mean something. For starters, let's agree we're going to talk about rear wheel drive cars for right now. The three shafts they are referring to are the drive shaft and the two axles. The engine and transmission function together to supply the rotational energy to the drive shaft. The transmission allows for variable speeds by using multiple gear sets and allowing for smooth transition of power through the different speeds. Once that power gets to the rear of the vehicle, it needs to be pointed at the wheels and either set up for high economy or faster acceleration and lower economy. The main components of the diff are a ring gear and a pinion gear. The pinion gear is a smaller gear and is driven directly by the drive shaft. The ring gear is just as it sounds. It's a circle with teeth on it. It is driven by the pinion gear. The relationship of the size of the ring gear to the pinion is what determines the gear ratio. Axle ratios are expressed in numerical ratios like 256 to 1 or 410 to 1. A higher ratio like 410 will give quick acceleration but cause the engine to run at higher RPMs for a given speed. This causes the vehicle to use more fuel. A lower ratio like a 256 to 1 will give more sluggish acceleration but yields lower RPMs at the same speed thus using less fuel. Ring and pinion gears come as a set. They need to be set up by a qualified technician or they will howl or wear out prematurely. Choosing the right ratio for a vehicle can be very difficult due to all the variables in the transmission, engine size, and even tire size. Just remember, there is no perfect gear ratio. Deciding what you need the vehicle to do and what other components are being used will move you closer to your optimal gear ratio. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time.